we begin tonight with an update on a controversial shooting in Clear Creek County. A family seeking answers is a step closer after two deputies now face criminal charges. Christian Glass called 911 when his car broke down in Silver Plume back in June. A tense situation unfolded when Glass, who had two knives, would not leave his vehicle. Now, eventually, police broke his windows and opened fire, killing him. The Clear Creek Sheriff's Office announced last night that a grand jury indicted two deputies. Andrew Bune faces charges of second-degree murder and reckless endangerment. Kyle Gould faces charges of criminally negligent homicide and reckless endangerment. The Sheriff's Office has fired both of those men. Alan Janae did talk with the attorney who is representing Glass's family. A criminal case is one thing, but a civil case now seems certain to follow, and it will have a wider scope. An attorney for the Glass family says he plans on suing five departments that were involved at the time Christian Glass was shot. It was a first call for help by 22-year-old Christian Glass. His car was stuck, but arriving deputies soon escalated things. Guys, look, I can't go. Stop. Stop. Un Stop. Take the keys out of the car. Take the keys out of the ignition now. For over an hour, Glass refused to get out, then locked himself in the car. It was a tense situation that ultimately led one officer on scene, Andrew Bune, to open fire. The parents are relieved. A lawyer for the family, Siddhartha Rathod, says the family is glad for the charges, but believes the two are not the only ones responsible. Is that enough? No, because not everyone is being held responsible. Christian Glass had ADHD and was on medication for it. Also in his system was marijuana. Law enforcement from Idaho Springs, Georgetown, the State Patrol, and the Division of Gaming joined Clear Creek deputies. A CSP sergeant radioed there was no reason to continue. If there's no crime and he's not suicidal homicide or a great danger, then there's no reason to contact him. What was the reason that the officers had to have Christian out of the car? There wasn't one. In a statement, the Clear Creek County Sheriff posted that while the investigation is still underway, preliminary findings show there were policy and procedural failures. And those could be costly to all the departments involved. There is no justification for what happened. He had committed no crime. And yet the officers treated him from the first second they arrived as a criminal. An expert who trains Colorado law enforcement on dealing with people with disabilities told me tonight that impulse control is a large part of ADHD and that when you force escalation on someone with a disability, it often does not end well. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.